Hello friends, this is Durga again from IIT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about Red Hat Certified System Administrator and the learning objective archive, compress, unpack and uncompress files using tar, star, gzip and bzip2. Already tar is covered, in this video I will try to cover about star. <coughs> so before getting into the star command syntax and semantics, let's understand why we need to have additional commands such as star when we already have tar. So there is a feature called in uh, SC Linux in Red Hat flavors. SC Linux stands for uh, Security Enforcing Linux, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, um, you will you will uh, change the permissions of the files, which is understandable only um, with Red Hat. There are many such uh, security-related features um, which can be. Imp uh, included when we try to create applications in uh, Red Hat based environments. So uh, uh, by default when you actually tar and untar, uh, some of the permissions uh, will be superseded based upon the target uh, 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 server. So if you want to preserve the permissions of the file without compromising the security when you actually uh, create uh, tar on one server and uh, you uh, want to install using the tar on the other server, star is more appropriate command than tar. Tar is a standard Linux command which will work in all the Linux environments, star might not work on all the environments. So star will not come uh, with uh, typical installation of uh, Red Hat. So as I have demonstrated earlier, you have to run this command sudo m minus y install star to install star or star okay to get the help you just have to say star minus help and uh, you can see several options here similar to tar uh, star also have minus c as the command to create minus u for update r for replace whereas in uh, uh, tar u and r are a little bit different than here so you need to understand those differences and then the minus x is to extract same as uh, tar command and minus t for listing the files same as tar command again and uh, also if you want to um, execute in verbose mode where the performing tasks, tasks are reported you have to use minus v uh, which is not yeah, which is highlighted here, increment verbose level. So it will print the progress of your star, uh, star uh, minus C or minus X commands uh, on the standard out. Okay, so now let us see the directories. So we have a directory called smalldex and we want to create a our pack. Uh, we, we want to archive and create a package uh, of the entire directory. The contents you have already seen. So directly I'm using star command to create minus C minus F for the file name. Either you can give equal to end file name or space file name. Both are same. Small text dot tar and the parent directory under which you want to parent directory uh, using which you want to tar all the files recursively. In this case we have only one level of files so only those will be uh, archived. As I have not uh, used minus v it didn't uh, uh, provide the output in verbose mode it only uh, printed the final outcome of the size and other things. Now you can do ls minus ltr you can see that this file is around 1.1 uh, uh, gb okay now let us create a directory called mkdir star demo and move this file so i am copying the star file to some other location it could be internal to the server it could be um, you can also copy to the external servers so in this case i am copying to star demo and then i am changing directory to star demo and before uh, um, in, um, before untaring it is always a good practice to view the contents of the file. 
you you don't need to de, uh, do on daily basis but at least when you are in development and testing stage it is very important uh, to uh, to see the contents of those star uh, star or tar files actually the extension should have been star so let me change it here small dex dot star to small dex dot star okay and now if you do star minus t for listing the files minus s equal to small dex dot star and hit enter it will show the it it will show all the uh, files that are part of that package okay now if you want to extract it's pretty simple star minus x minus v minus s minus v will make it verbose and then uh, small dex dot tar star and it will create that directory structure uh, and then it will cop uh, it will uh, enter all the files in the directory structure which is created on the source so you will see a directory called small dex here once everything is unpacked so now you can see the directory small dex here ls minus ltr you can see all the files the same way as you have seen earlier so before closing tar and star command uh, i will emphasize few a few more uh, topics uh, so that you understand why it is important to package so for that what i will do is i will uh, start another vm which is on my virtual uh, vm fusion so this red hat is on virtual box and i have another vm uh, on v, uh, vmware fusion and i will be using that okay so i am already logged into that so I, I will be logging into that okay so i am removing all the files okay now I am going back to my Red Hat 7 PC and then I want to first copy all the files in small decks. Okay, so we have two versions. I, I am deleting this version so that I reclaim the space. The original small decks which we are playing with is this one. So let's try to copy this small decks. Okay. So scp minus r because we have to copy all the files recursively small dex and then I have to give the username and IP address to which I want to copy the IP address is 192.168.145.152 so you can get that from the other host by running ifconfig minus a command and this is the IP address and I have already tested ping and I'm able to ping to here so it will work and then you have to use colon and you have to tell the directory in this case I am giving the home directory either you can do uh, the home directory directly like this or you can also say tilde for root the home directory is slash root for other users typically it will be minus home minus user, sorry slash home slash username but you can change it by updating a etc password file so for root this is the standard uh, home directory and we should not use that and hit enter and also it's not a good practice to use um, root for these activities anyway now let us see how long it will take it will take quite a bit of time at least uh, 60 seconds to 80 seconds to copy these 100 files we can also uh, run date command and see how much time it is taking and uh, we are almost done so it is done it will take around 70 to 80 seconds to copy each file uh, all the files recursively from one source to the target okay and uh, let me run date command and uh, do the scp again i am deleting these files on the target server and I am running this scp command again so it started at around uh, 640 probably 45 seconds 
because I have deleted after running the date command. So from 640-45 we will see how long it will take to copy all these 100 files which is 1.1 GB. And there is no network latency here because both the VMs are on my laptop itself. But still it takes time because we are copying 1.1 GB of files which will be done uh, in a moment. It's almost done and immediately run the date command it is 4135 so when did we start 4045 so around 50, sec 50 seconds it took to copy all these files okay now we will copy the tar file so the tar file is under star demo and then scp smalldex.tar star root at 192.168 145, 152. It doesn't matter whether you are copying tar file or star file for copying purposes. The size will be almost same and uh, it will take same amount of uh, time. Only thing I am trying to show is it is effective to do operations such as copying files from one location to another location as a tar ball than uh, plain uh, uh, SCP command which will copy all the files recursively. Okay, now I am giving the home directory as tilde and hit enter. Now we will see how long it will take to copy this 1.1 GB yeah, file. So it took 44 seconds, whereas previously it took around 50 55 seconds. So it is a little bit faster, and also it is much more cleaner uh, copying this way. Okay, and also not only just copying, uh, uh, you can actually bundle it using tar file. So you can actually uh, uh, create a tar file and uh, uh, include some configuration files. And once you want tar, you, you can update those configuration files on the target system uh, using a shell script. All those things can be easily manageable if you are using tar or star. So if in case in the certification exam, if they ask you to copy uh, or package uh, uh, several uh, hundreds of uh, directories which have several hundreds of files, it might be a good practice to do the tar or star command and then copy it even if they don't explicitly say to use tar or star command. Okay. On top of that, tar have additional features uh, to uh, to enforce the uh, permissions etc so you can easily understand that by running star minus help command there are several parameters which you can explore uh, another important set of parameters are these ones these are all related to compression which we will understand more about uh, uh, these after covering the gzip and bzip commands okay and also there are a few other um, uh, options um, in star command but most important ones are minus c for create minus u or minus uh, r for update or replace minus x for extract minus t for list and then uh, these for compression which we'll see later and then minus v for verbose you can also explore the other files if you want you can practice more to understand what each of these commands do so that you are more confident to give the certification that being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Uh, we will see in the compression aspect of this learning objective as part of the next video. If you have any technical questions on star command, probably raise ticket in Stack Overflow with appropriate tags. And if you want to discuss further about certifications, please join my LinkedIn group, ITVersity Certifications. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.